Hi, I'm Shalane, this is Dean, and we are Grassroots, Grassroots Living. Living. And as you may know or may not know, we actually live full time in a little travel trailer. But today we are going to show you our little micro camper. We don't always want to go on adventures and pull our house with us. Sometimes we just want to go even smaller. So today we're going to take you on a little tour. Dean's going to get us started with the back of the van. He's going to show you the garage and then I'll take you inside. Do you want to tell him what this is? This is a 2007 Dodge Grand Caravan. It's got the stow and go seating. So yeah, so we'll have Dean, Dean start in the back and he's going to show you how we do power and then I'll take you on the inside. So let's go. So what we've done is we've chosen our Jackery with our little solar panel. We can always have enough power no matter where we are in any situation, especially if we're out boondocking. Uh, we just like to carry it with us. It's a nice foldable thing. Put it out wherever we want, it's done. So one of the reasons why we chose the Dodge Grand Caravan was the stow and go seating. The first thing we did was remove all of them so that we have all this nice storage area all the way down in, underneath here. Well, in here is where we just keep our things. Like if we have a flat tire, we have a little air pump. We've got uh, cords and things like that that we all that we will need from time to time as we're okay. About. So the other thing we have back here besides our fishing magnet, we like to go magnet fishing. So we've got magnets back there. That's a lot of fun. You'll have to check out those videos. But we also have part of our bathroom. So this right here is a little bucket and it's got a nice tight screw on lid if we want to seal trash in there. And inside we keep a bag of kitty litter. We like the pine pellets and we keep trash bags so we can use that um, as a little toilet. And as you can see here, we have our little toilet seat that just sits on top, boop, super easy. And we just set that all right back here. And then here we have a collapsible sink. So when we need to do dishes, I took out this little panel right here so we can stuff random things in there. It's actually our little lawn chairs, right? Those little fold up, collapsible weird lawn chairs are in there and other random things and then right here is our food tote it doesn't have any food in it right now of course because we're not going anywhere um, this weekend but that's our food tote and then we have an identical one right underneath it and that's our dishes and all of our cooking supplies so plates and forks and bowls and um, hand towels and all the stuff and all the things you would need in the kitchen so that's the kitchen and this is the food for the kitchen so when it sits here it also makes a nice little um, bed stand for Dean he sits on he sleeps on this side and I sleep on that side so let's go around and we'll go inside and we'll show you the couch and bed and all the stuff and things in here Okay, so before we go in, let me show you something I did. When you take out the seats, right, in the Dodge Grand Caravan, you're gonna have kind of a lumpy floor. Um, you're gonna have those little steel bars that the seats attach to and stuff. And so it makes it really uncomfortable to get in and out because you kind of get in and out, right, using your knees. And so let me just show you real quick how we solved that. We got a nice fluffy rug, but under the rug, we put these uh, hiking mats, right? And that covers up there's that steel bar I was telling you about. And there's a lot of mess under there, right? That's just not comfortable. So that covers that up and makes it nice and soft on your knees when you go to get in. So let's go in and see what's in here. We are not animals. We still always take our, our shoes right when we get in the house. It's a rule. So let me show you where the shoes go. If you'll go right down here, and it's kind of, Dean's gonna have to maneuver the camera a little bit. But this is the stow and go area down here. Sometimes shoes go there, but usually we'll pull this down and you can see that there's shoes back behind here. Those are my hiking boots right now. And that's actually on both sides. So we have plenty of room for shoes. I'm just gonna stick these right here for right now. Okay, now let me tell you about this area right here. These actually are just super cheap little things that go on the back of your seat so that the kids can, when I saw it on Amazon, it had an iPad right here so the kids could sit back here, you know, and watch their little movies while they're traveling. But these things are perfect for all your little things. Um, so hairbrush and comb and our uh, hand sanitizer, face swap, wipes, here's some dish soap, and even our fire roasting stick, 
and that makes it handy to put this little bag on here. That's where we put our trash, is in this little bag. It might be weird, but it's a secret. You see this, this little pill bottle? If we're ever outside, or if we're ever camping and it's raining outside and it's a mess, and we don't wanna go outside, but we wanna brush our teeth, this is our little spittoon. How weird is that? We can brush our teeth and put it right in here and just put the lid on it and then take care of it when we get somewhere. So, is that weird? It's perfect, actually. So anyway, all the stuff and all the things in here and all the stuff and all the things, I got two of them. I actually think I bought it in a set. You guys, it came in a set from Amazon. So lots of stuff in both of those places. Um, we use bungee cords a lot. So we have a bungee cord um, holding the paper towels and bungee cords, oh goodness, you guys, holding everything. Dean's hat, these are extra bags. Here's a flashlight. Um, this little bungee cord is actually just um, helping to secure um, this little part of the, whatever you call this thing. Those are our face wipes. Um, okay, so the next thing I'm gonna show you is how we use the stow and go area. So if you'll look down here, here's the second part of our potty. I showed you the first part of our potty in the back. That's for um, black water, if you will, <laughs> solids. But I have my own pee, pee jug and Dean has his own pee, pee jug for when we are not in an area with a bathroom. And this of course is just, you can see it's a little tote with shoes and it's got all kinds of stuff back in there, kind of stuff back in there. This is our heating source. And you know what? I think I'm gonna let Dean pull that out and tell you more about that if he wants to tell you about that, but that's our heating source. And then you can see that we have a water. This is a, how many gallons? Six gallon. Six gallon water tote. Now let me show you why this is empty space right here and on the other side. Because this is the one space that we can stand and we can use our little our little pee pee jugs in here. Not gonna demonstrate, but it gives us more room. Even if I wanna, you know, if we wanna put on our pants or anything, we've got a little bit of a space where we can stand up a little bit. So we keep that area nice and clear. Um, let me show you what's back here really quick. We've got a table and this table will lay down right nice and straight to where you can't even see it i like to keep it with the legs up because it gives us a place to hang our jackets right behind the table you probably can't see it here let me see if i can steal the camera from dean if you'll look back here whoop that is a little shower tent it's pretty standard those ones that just pop up and then the blue one is just a regular little teeny tiny tent that we got so that when we go places and we want to drive some drive off in the van, right? But we need to secure our site. We'll just put up that little tiny tent and that says, hey, somebody's got this spot. So that's actually what that tent is for. It's just more for show than anything. So shower tent, um, the other tent, the table all goes right here. And we usually don't open this door. We usually just use open the door where Dean is standing. One more thing up here. We've got this cutting board that fits perfectly in between the two seats. And this serves a lot of different purposes. One is, you know, we can put our kettle here and make water for whatever we might need hot water for, cocoa or whatever. And we can cook in our little griddle and you can cook more than just pancakes and that eggs or whatever. So that's super handy. We can also sit in the front seats and just use it as a table. So. That's a good tip. Um, let's see. I'm sitting on the bed, of course. No, 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 I'm sitting on the couch. As you can see, I'm sitting on the couch. Super handy, super comfortable, put our feet up, super nice, we love it. And then obviously it's also our bed. We got a pretty thick mattress from, from Walmart and I made, this, I made this little travel quilt to go on it. So it's um, comfortable and nice. And, and up here, <clears throat> One of the things that this van is a little bit famous for, which is kind of a bummer, is that this this lining, and you, you guys know what I'm talking about, you've seen it before, kind of falls, comes away from the ceiling. And so our idea was to get um, patches 
anywhere we go and we have like four patches that we haven't even put up yet, but we get patches and we pin them to the ceiling and we're hoping to go on a lot of big adventures and put a ton of patches and have that covered. And if you're not a subscriber, you might wanna subscribe so that you can follow us, come with us on all those adventures. So I'm gonna get on the other side of the camera now and Dean's going to show you um, more of our kitchen setup, our refrigerator and different things. So we're gonna switch places. Okay, before Dean starts, let's just talk about the fact that he's in trouble. <laughs> But I'm going to let him get away with it because we're filming right now. So, yeah, go for it. Okay, so I want to show you our, our refrigerator that we have. It's a little alpha cool. It's not very big. But it does hold like uh, a quart of milk, butter, those types of things. We used to travel with a cooler and ice. But we just found that so many times that ice melts and then the cheese gets stuck in there and then it's a kind of a moldy, muddy, I don't know. Squishy, squishy slimy kind of mess. Slimy stuff. And so we decided, let's just go ahead and invest it. So we, what we do is we keep a little tiny solar generator, which also plugs into that same solar panel that I showed you earlier. And we just run it strictly off that. It doesn't take a lot of power, but we don't ever need to have any ice again. So no melting, no nothing. It works perfect for it. It can also double as a freezer because it can go all the way down to, I think, negative four degrees Fahrenheit. So not only can I plug it in when we're stuck someplace, but as we're going down the road, there's a DC port right here that we can use as we're going down the road and our battery will be charging up the solar generator as we go, or we can use it to run the refrigerator and save the battery completely. Right, so it comes with a couple different kinds of cords, right? Yes. You know, you can plug it into an AC outlet or a DC outlet, right. either one. One of the big things with uh, camping in a micro camper like this, minivan like this, is privacy. And so what we did was we went ahead and purchased these little things that easily fit into the window. We found one made specifically for this particular thing. You just slide it in there, take it, you push, it's done. So invaluable. We really have a good sense of privacy anytime that we are in our minivan because of it. Oh, one thing I do want to mention is that it's gold on one side. Uh, if it's a very hot day, that gold will actually reflect it out very well. We like to keep it like this if we're someplace at night because this gives a nice black background. They just assume it's got a dark tint they can't see inside. I want to show you this butane heating source that we have. You just put the little butane cans in through here. I like to start it outside because when you first start it up, sometimes it will make a flash. And so it's much better to do it outside than have it have that happen inside. It does do a great job of heating up this place in just five to 10 minutes, this place is a sauna. So it's exactly what we need. It's compact, but it's everything that you would want in, as a heating source in a minivan. It comes in a case and the case is terrible, but the heater has been amazing. Yes. So Dean talked about the heating source. We also have a little bit of a cooling source, right? You need a fan. And we just have this little rechargeable fan. Everything needs to be rechargeable, right? We have this little rechargeable fan from Walmart, again, on a bungee. And actually it works really, really great. We also have this little light back here that's rechargeable. Um, there's a little light up there that's rechargeable. So all the rechargeable stuff and things, lights and fans and they just all hang on bungees. So you might be wondering where we keep our clothes and some of the other stuff that we might need. So when we went to build the bed, when Dean went to build the bed, we found what we were going to use for storage first so that he would know how to measure, how high to measure the boards. So we found these little things on Amazon, of course, and this one holds all of our clothing. And then there's one right beside it um, that holds just stuff and things. And it's stuff that we want to bring with us, but that we don't use very often, like a hammock. And um, I don't even know what's in there to be honest with you, but it's a little trickier to get out because we have to pull this one all the way out and then move that one over to pull it out. So it's needed, but oh, flies you guys but we just don't use that stuff very often. So those two are there. Again, it looks like that. 
It has a little top that you can zip closed, but we don't, we don't use that. You can see it's just a simple, it's essentially a no build van build in that nothing is built to the floor. The bed can be taken out very easily. And he just got some boards and you can see everything's just screwed together real easy. And so yeah, that's what that is. That space under the bed, that's a lot of space, super handy. We hope that you enjoyed that little van build tour. If you guys have any suggestions on what we can do to make this better or cuter or more accessible, leave them in the comments uh, below for us. And also if you have any questions about the build, um, build, build, leave them in the comments and we'll answer every single one of them. He's really good about that. Did you have anything I else? try to get to quite a few of them anyhow. Yeah, he does a good job. One other thing, make sure you give us a great big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe so you can go with us on all of our adventures. Until next time, this is Grassroots Living reminding you to get down to the grassroots of what makes you happy and live your love. We're thinking of you. We'll catch you next time. Peace out. Viva la vida. See